Now, it is a brand new year, and it's time now to jump into the saddle with our local environmental control officer, Luke, Luke Bax. And this week, we're talking about the fascinating creature that gives most people the hibbit of bejeebies, yes? Scorpions. Scorpions, which are sadly very much misunderstood, but it's through learning more and more about them that we can come to respect these wonderful and remarkable arachnids. And let me tell you, arachnophobia is very alive and well within me right now. But I shall appreciate them as I do, Luke, scorpions usually from a, a distance. Uh, I'm a Scorpio myself, I'm born in, in October, and so I like to appreciate my scorpions from the as stars. far as the stars. The stars. <laughs> But tell me what we know about scorpions. How long have they been uh, around for? When were the first fossils found, for instance? So scorpions are a pretty old, I want to say, species. They've been around for about 450 million years. Um, some species have been, like, about 90 fossil species discovered about 450 million years ago. So they are a pretty old and ancient species. Yeah, and there's a variety of them, right? Yeah, we've got a large amount of um, scorpions in South Africa. Um, so they come from thick tails to the thin tail species, venomous to non-venomous. Um, we've got about 90 species, mm -hmm. and yeah, so what I've got here is this is a, a non-venomous a non thin-tailed scorpion. A non-venomous venomous thin-tailed scorpion. Yeah, yeah. so it's, 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 uh, its name is Epistopothalamus. Mm -hmm. There's one problem with scorpions, they don't actually have common names. Oh. Most, most of them don't really have common names. Yeah, 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 like you get like the Cape Cobra you or something You get the Cape like Cobra, that, which has its last name, but this doesn't, doesn't, you don't exactly call this the Cape Scorpion, because yeah. people aren't... You don't see them very often, not yeah. many people know about them. Yeah. So this just has a Latin name. I'm quite surprised at just even looking at that presspithalamus. Epistopithalamus. Epistopithalamus, excuse me. How docile it is, how calm it is in your hand. Mm. Why is that happening? So scorpions, I mean, they're, they're not, I want to say they're not, they're not stupid species. They, they know, it knows I'm posing no threat. Yes. And this scorpion in particular doesn't have a strong venom. Okay. So it's... Its defensive mechanism is its pincers. You can see as it raises its pincers like that. It, ah, look at that. Whereas, so if I go and grab it by the tail like okay, that. Okay, you just grabbed it by the tail. Why you want to do that though? It wants to use the, the, the pincers to the pincers, grab a yes. hold of you. Okay. And over the years also, how have they managed to survive, these scorpions? So they've got various adaptation mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So you've got, the big one is water retention. Um, so you find these scorpions in a lot of desolate areas, Namibia, the Kalahari, and they don't lose water very easily, uh -huh. and they retain water very well. So yes. they're nocturnal species, so they don't lose water during the day. Okay, because during the day they are sleeping, finding cover. Yeah, well, they, 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 they're docile underneath rocks or under logs, and then as well as they, they spend all their, their... Well, that's up at the Wolfberg Arch up in the Uh-huh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they're not, they're very, they're not very active. Mm -hmm. So they, except for like your Parabusa species, which are your venomous species, they actually not active hunters. Yeah. They, they're more ambushed. They'll wait for you to come to them. Now, you'll, you'll see that Luke is holding the very big black scorpion, which might just scare the heba de bejeebies out of you. But the one that he has over there, a lot smaller, a lot friendlier looking in color as well. And we are purposefully not opening that because that is the most venomous scorpion on the African continent. Yes. Well, in South Africa in particular. Um, so that is Parabuthus granulatus. Uh -huh. uh, it forms, it's the Buthidae family. It's um, the only scorpion in South Africa to have recorded deaths. Yeah. So roughly five recorded deaths a year. It's the old. It's mainly focused. The people who die are normally young or the old. Um, it's got a neurotoxic venom, so it attacks your nervous system. Oh yes. But that scorpion can get twice as big as the scorpion. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So right. yeah, the parabuthus can get are a very large species. Um, they've got a very large, um, very thick tail, which makes them quite easy to identify as a very poor. Yeah, you can see there. It's got a very thick tail. Um, filled with venom. Filled with venom. So you can see very small pincers, very thick tail, bad. Yeah. Big pincers, small tail, less bad. Okay. All right, I tell you what, we're going to take a quick ad break and we're also going to invite all of you at home that have questions to ask about scorpions to give us a call on 083-9133728. I literally have never been so close <laughs> to potential death. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 